When Danette Ehlers goes fishing, a lot of times she's hoping she won't catch anything. Ehlers is a fish biologist with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife Office in Clackamas. Equipped with a backpack electroshock unit and a net, she uses electricity to stun fish in urban creeks, streams, and ponds around Portland. It's part of a sampling effort to see just what's out there, and in a lot of cases, it's illegally dumped aquarium fish that have taken a toehold in the wild. Rhinierson Creek, which is behind us, is a system that I have caught killifish before. There's a banded killifish that we found in great numbers in this stream. Um, and it's another aquarium species that has been released into the wild and is doing rather well. The oriental weatherfish and the killifish are really dynamic in that they are able to survive in different types of systems. And they're able to overwinter in our streams and able to reproduce and they're spreading in their numbers. Um, they do have major impacts to our native species, both aquatic and terrestrial. We're having problems with seeing lots more of the killifish and the oriental weatherfish, and we really don't know at this time what impacts they are having to our native species. We know that the weatherfish in particular is omnivorous, meaning that it eats both plants and animals, and it's been known in, in captivity or in aquariums to eat snails and small fish eggs. So it could be having a really devastating impact on some of our native species out there. The killifish also um, is something that we really don't know a lot about other than we're seeing lots more of them. And both of these species, in addition to others that we've been finding, can have impacts to native fish by either direct predation on our native species or competition for habitat or food, basically outcompeting our native species. And they're also outcompeting them for food sources if they're eating the aquatic insects that our native species are primarily preying on that could be having a, a real devastating impact to them at this time. So again, I want to emphasize to the public that um, they should not be releasing any aquarium species or pets that they have at home into the wild. You may think that you're doing them a favor by releasing them, and that's to humane treatment. But it's really not because they're going to have devastating impacts to our native species. So this is the oriental weatherfish, or doho loach. It's an aquarium species that we just found in Rhinierson Creek, which is a tributary to the Willamette River in the Gladstone area. And it's one of our invasive species. It's now a prohibited species in Oregon. You can't sell them in pet stores anymore because we are finding them more and more in the wild. And we're really unsure at this time of the impacts that they're having to our native species. Releasing non-native fish into the wild is a recipe for disaster. Biologists recommend that you only buy aquarium fish, reptiles, and amphibians from local dealers and make sure that they have a policy of taking those back if you can no longer keep them. In a worst case scenario, you may have to euthanize your pet fish. The most humane way to do that, experts agree, is to put them in a plastic bag in the freezer. Since fish are cold-blooded, they basically go to sleep painlessly. There is a hotline for the public to use to alert state officials to any unusual plants, insects, or animals.